Commissioners, and I hope that tradition will be respected uh, at this, on this occasion. So could you ask, ask the question? Answer the question. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Vincent, uh, I, I have answered a very similar question of you, I think it was uh, two reviews ago. Uh, and you addressed the question, you addressed the question previously. I addressed yeah. the question, yes. I answered it. I would say, uh, I, can, I can understand uh, that uh, I mean, this is a difficult decision to be made by the government and there's no doubt about it, but there are different aspects of the problem to be, to be balanced against each other and I can understand that the government came to the came to the view that all in all the costs for the for the uh, Irish people for the for the stability of the banking system for the confidence in the banking system of, of taking a certain action in this respect uh, which you are mentioning uh, could could likely have been much bigger than the benefits for the taxpayer uh, which of course would have been there so the, the financial sector would have been affected the confidence of the financial sector would have been negatively affected and I can understand that there were that there was a difficult decision but uh, that the decision was taken in this direction. Yeah, that, that, well, that doesn't address the issue. We are required to pay in respect of a defunct bank. There's no uh, bearing on the welfare of the Irish people at all. We are required to pay in respect of this defunct bank billions on unguaranteed bonds in order to ensure the health of European banks. Now, what would you explain, how would you explain that uh, situation to the tax, uh, taxi driver that you talked about earlier? I think I have addressed okay. the question. You no, know, you haven't addressed the question because you've referred to the, uh, the viability of the Irish financial institutions. This financial institution I'm talking about is defunct. It's over, it's finished. Now, why are the Irish people required, under threat from the ECB, why are the Irish people required to pay billions to unguaranteed bondholders under threat to the ECB? You didn't answer the question the last time, so maybe you'd answer it this time. Well, no I, think, I think he doesn't have anything to add to what he's already said. Well, well, sorry, we, we this, know, isn't we good. this isn't this good. This isn't good enough. Sorry, this isn't good me. enough. You people are intervening in, in, in this society, causing huge damage by requiring us to make payments, not for the benefit of anybody in Ireland, but for the benefit of European financial institutions. Now, could you explain why the Irish people are inflicted with this burden? Well, I think I have a this question. You have nothing to say. There's no answer. Is that right? Is that it? No answer? I have given an answer. He's given an answer. You have a, given an answer that doesn't address the question. That's your view. That is my view, and I think it yeah. would be the view of the taxi driver and the view of our viewers tonight. Right. Can we please move on?